Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the north, more specifically Denver, Colorado, and even more specifically than that, I am at Elitch Gardens, it's an amusement park right in downtown Denver. It is almost unusual in how it is, uh, it is like right in the middle of a metropolitan area, which is really impressive. But the primary reason I've come here is because Meow Wolf has created a dark ride known as Kaleidoscope and placed it here in Elitch Gardens. This is the second Meow Wolf attraction. Of course, Meow Wolf is now building interactive art attractions all over the country. Meow Wolf in New Mexico, one of my all-time favorite attractions. And I love dark rides as well. So, Meow Wolf plus dark ride equals something that I don't even know. I, 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 I am wanting to experience this myself and, and, and just learn what exactly this is. Of course, uh, there's new Meow Wolf attractions coming in Phoenix, Washington, D.C., um, another one in Denver itself, and Las Vegas. So uh, this is the second one. We're going to check it out, and there may be some other stuff in this amusement park as well. So follow me. Dr. Bowie's pink pills for pale people. Oh, what do they do? Yeah, kind of like just like a Main Street type area. Not to see Elitch is to not see Denver. Oh, we got a slingshot in action here. Oh, you poor people! Why did you get on this thing? You knew you knew what was going to happen. Don't act surprised, please. Oh. Here it is, here it is. Meow Wolf's Kaleidoscope. Enter the queue line right here. It does appear to be yeah, some people here to ride kaleidoscope. A gargoyle. So apparently this building, this dark ride, used to be yeah, one of the blue boo blasters, like interactive dark rides you shoot ghosts but was recently converted to uh, the Meow Wolf Kaleidoscope. The gargoyle apparently was part of the original theming of the, the haunted dark ride. It says to keep your arms in the vehicle at all time or they could become broccoli or a phone. This is how you use a conglomatron Turns a bike into a messed up bike and then into a red ball. It says to no food and drink, you have to place it in a black hole apparently. Alright, check out that ride vehicle. So there is a gun. I'm not sure what that is used for. What? with nothing in it. I don't know what to do with this gun. Are we supposed to shoot things? Oh yeah, it's shoot this uh, shoot this city I guess. Where are we going now? Oh, volcano. Wow. Love the colors. Oh, the butterfly in the jungle coming to life. It's over here. Oh, wow. Just look at all that going on. It's, you can hardly know what to pay attention to. All right, next room. Oh wow. I 
That's amazing. Look at these. Oh, the evil flower man. Oh my gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. You guess I shoot it? Oh my gosh. So much, so much going on. I don't, hard to focus. Oh wow. What's, what's going on now? Oh dear. Oh my gosh. Oh, bikes is, if it transforms. What's in the egg now? It all kind of makes sense. Okay, so initial reactions, I actually like got a little emotional. It's very, but not an experience I've had before. The, the Meow Wolf experience, of course, is a, is a very unique experience, but that was, to be that immersed with the, the dark ride, them controlling your movement. I don't know what the gun was for, um, but uh, wow, I, Quite, a, quite an experience. Okay, I must admit, I'm kind of embarrassed because I've been calling it Kaleidoscope. It is Kaleidoscape. Yeah, Wolf, Kaleidoscape. Yeah, I feel like I need to, I need to hop right back on. I want to I experience that one more time, at least. This time I think I'm not gonna worry about the gun and just, just focus, focus on Kaleidoscope. The red particle. I cannot put this out there enough that that is something that is completely unique in the world. Even if you've been to Meow Wolf in New Mexico, I would say that is a complete unique experience all 
of itself. And, I've, and you know, with the Meow Wolf storylines, the storylines are kind of left to be vague, for up for interpretation. Um, what I am putting together for the Kaleidoscape uh, storyline is about a particle, a, a Q particle, a, a, a particle, a single particle being expanded through the multiverse, hatched from a cosmic egg, expanding until it reaches max density and then collapsing back into the cosmic egg. And I guess you're experiencing that expanse as you travel through the multiverse. I think that's the best way to describe it. But just some amazing visuals in there. It's nothing like you've ever seen on a dark ride before. Looks like there is some semblance of an Old West theme here at the gaming parlor. Some sort of excessively huge uh, dartboard. There they go. Oh wow. Wait a minute. We're going up? There's nowhere to go. So I guess they're just gonna have to go back the way they came. Backwards? Slowly? Oh wait, here they go. Now they gotta do all that backwards. This is one of those rides that was just invented by a total sociopath. You can see them, they're going up and down this ramp, but they're also spinning at the same time, spinning in a circle while going up at a nearly 90 degree angle. Yeah, that's, that's great. That's a splash. <laughs> oh my gosh. Those people are totally soaked. They are wet to their underpants. Look at them. Oh. Got him. Seriously, I think this very well may be the wettest log flume ever. See this twirly ride right here. And then you can just see that we're right in the middle of downtown Denver. Um, snow globes uh, traditionally supposed to have something inside of them. Oh well. Rosebud. So that was Elich Gardens here in Denver, Colorado. Really amazing to have uh, such a large amusement park right smack dab in the middle of a city. But really, the only thing on my mind is how amazing Kaleidoscope is. The absolute future of dark rides. Do everyone? I want everyone. Get out your bucket list and I want you to write this down because I think this is something everyone should do. Go to Knobles in Pennsylvania and ride the Haunted Mansion ride. That you'll fully experience the past of dark rides, the amazing nostalgia of dark rides. And then get an Uber, an Uber all the way to Denver, Colorado and ride Kaleidoscape and see the absolute future of the dark ride and what it has become. They're both equally amazing in their own ways. And a perfect bookend, really to a human life. Actually, what am I even talking about? I'm sorry. I'm getting a little, getting a little too much into Kaleidos Kaleidoscape here. I uh, appreciate you guys joining me. Uh, if you like to see other amusement parks, other dark rides I've been on, check the interactive map in the description. It'll tell you where I've been and you can tell me where I need to go next. Also, if you'd like to help support the channel, consider buying a t-shirt. Consider donating to Patreon, a donation of 
$3 or more, we'll get you a postcard once a month. But for now, this one's in the Cosmic Egg.